Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to do some word problems. Okay, the first one we're going to look at is this one. It's kind of set up for us. And this is how it starts off. There are 24 students in Mrs. Thompson's math class. She's going to order pizza lunch for, for everyone. Three times as many students want pepperoni than want sausage. How many students want sausage pizza? Okay, so we're going to start, start by first defining our variables. So S is equal to the number of students who want sausage. So 3S is the number of students who want pepperoni because there are three times as many that want pepperoni. And the total number of students is 24. And it's kind of helping us set it up. We got the number of students who want sausage, which is S, plus the number of students who want pepperoni, which is 3S, is equal to 24. So let's set up that equation. So we have S plus 3S is equal to 24. Okay, now if we add that together, at 1S plus 3S's, there's a 1 here, we don't write it, but we assume it. So that's going to give us 4S is equal to 24. So S is equal to, well, do we divide both sides by 4? The 4's cancel, and so we have 24 divided by 4, which is 6. So that means 6 students want sausage pizza. So 3S, that's going to be 3 times 6, that's 18. So 18 students want pepperoni. So you can add them together and check 6 plus 18 is 24. So that's correct. Now let's go back and make sure we answer the question. The question says, how many students want sausage pizza? Well, the answer would be six, six students. Okay, so let's look at another word problem. We have Jason is five times older, or five times as old as Mary, and the sum of their ages is 30. How old is Mary? Okay. Let's start off saying Mary's age is equal to M. So Jason's age, we have to define that. Well, Jason is five times as old as Mary, so five times M is his age, so five M. And then together, the sum, and sum in math means to add, so the sum of Mary's age and the sum of Jason's age, so the sum is equal to 30. Okay, so now let's solve this one. So we have 1m plus 5m, remember that one's here, that gives us 6m is equal to 30. Now let's divide both sides by 6, and we get m equals 5. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that Mary must be 5 years old. So Jason is equal to 5 times Mary, so he must be 25 years old, okay? So 5 years old, that's Mary's age, and 25 years old, that's Jason's age. And the sum, let's check it. The sum is equal to 30, yes, 5 plus 25 is 30. So that's how you would check that one. Okay, let's do one more of these. Okay, we have Mr. Wilson and his wife go jogging in the morning. Last week they jogged a total of 42 miles. If Mr. Wilson jogged twice as far as his wife, how many miles did his wife jog? So let's call his wife W. Okay, that is the wife's number of miles jogged. And so he jogged twice, okay? So Mr. Wilson, I'll just call him Mr. W, his, his mileage would be equal to 2W, twice what his wife did. But together, they jogged 42 miles. So a total means to add. So let's take W plus 2W is equal to the total of 42 miles. 
So let's add that together. Again, we have a 1 here, so 1w plus 2w is 3w is equal to 42. So let's divide by 3. So we get, let's see, w is equal to 14. So that means the wife, because W stood for the wife's mileage, she jogged 14 miles. And let's see what the husband, not that that's the question, but if we were asked the question, he ran 2W or he ran 28 miles. Now the question, let's go back, says how far, how many miles did the wife jog? Well, the answer is 14 miles. And that's the correct answer. But you can also find the other pieces of information and you can check them by adding 14 plus 28. And yes, indeed, that does to add to 42. So I hope this video was helpful on word problems.